Hi, this is Guat Namad. Welcome to my channel. So I like to explore certain tools and uh, trying to kind of expand the boundaries of the tool, what it can, it can do. And if you follow me, you probably saw that I published a few videos, a few scripts about custom screeners in PyScript for training view. And this is a, a feature that PyScript still lacks and there is definitely quite a big demand from the community. And um, if you saw my videos, you probably know that there is actually hard limitations of like 40 instruments per custom screener in TradingView. But in this video, I will show you a pretty simple hack that will allow you to scan uh, much more instruments. So of course, that's not a silver wallet. It's not working perfectly, but still it might work for some of you. So here you can see my screener added to my chart. And you can take a look, I have uh, more than a hundred unique instruments here in this table. So how it works? So it is pretty simple. To avoid these like 40 instruments per script limitations in PyScript, what you can do, you can add uh, some kind of one screener multiple times to your uh, chart. And after that, just work a bit with offsets. And this way, like few screeners at a time at your chart might look as the same table. So here, for example, I have a table, a big table, and every column is actually a different screener. And But I created this kind of offsets that it looks almost like it's the same table and it looks pretty good. And if you take a look at the left here, you can see that actually I added the same screener on my chart three times and from parameters of um, the screeners, they can basically configure it, how it will look and what uh, symbols it will screen for. So let's check parameters of one of these screeners. And here you can see I have like basic stuff, like just RSI parameters uh, that I am um, want to screen for. And also I have here symbols, but most importantly for this video, I have um, two other kind of columns um, that are um, quite important for me. So first one is column width. So I want to set kind of a fixed width for a column because I need to kind of create like this offset for other screeners so they will look nice. So all your screeners you add to your chart should have the same width of uh, their columns. And also you have like I have to specify here number of a screener and just to check that it works let's change this to four for example so um screener number one is actually the right uh, most screener on my screen so let's check this to four and we'll just see how it looks if it works so it should put it here um kind of behind all these screeners and as you can see, it works fine. So here we have like a blank space now because like our first screener is missing, but our um, first screener became our fourth one. And actually you can add more and more of these kind of screeners. It might take like entire uh, space of your screen, but it will work uh, to some extent. Now let's check up the code uh, for the screener and I will explain you quickly uh, how it works. So in, um, in reality, it's actually quite similar to other screeners I created. It's um, almost uh, the same inside, but I have um, kind of like a small difference. So first of all, I create uh, like a table and I have actually uh, three columns. So uh, first column is for symbol, second column is for value of uh, my screener, so for RSI in this case, and also have the third column that's actually invisible, it um, stands for this offset. So when I need an offset, I will basically plot completely invisible column that will just take this space and won't interlap with other screeners, so not just to show their values. So um, after I create um, these tables, I put my like symbol and RSI, and also when my screener number is more than one, so if, if it's not the right most what i will do i will create another cell it will be as i said to you completely uh, transparent so nobody will see it and so it won't um, mess with other screeners and also i will compute width of this column and this actually needs to be uh, just a kind of amount of percentage of your screen it needs to offset uh, to nicely display other screeners 
So for me, it will be our like width of our columns and multiply it by two because I have two columns for every screeners. And after that, I just multiply this by screen number minus one. And that's basically it. That's everything you need to do to uh, change your screener into a screener that can screen more than a hundred instruments or even a few hundred instruments if you want to. So as you can see, it's quite simple. And of course you can create much more like complicated examples uh, with your screeners so we can sc screen for multiple values as well and um, you just need to compute like your like offset a bit differently but um, i think you got an idea that it's quite simple if you want to check the code for this indicator i published actually uh, this code in on my trading view um, account so here you can find it i will leave uh, this link um, in my uh, description so that's all for this video thank you for watching see you